in this video i will show you another example of op amp circuit this will be the third example out of eight examples assuming ideal op amp model derive vo by vs for the following circuit see at the inverting terminal we are applying this vs through this r1 and this is our output voltage so this vs is our input voltage and this vo is our output voltage so we are asked to calculate the gain of this circuit using indicated parameters here you will see this non inverting terminal is connected to ground terminal therefore vp will be equal to zero now see this output terminal is connected to the inverting terminal through a resistive network so i can say the circuit is in negative feedback so its inverting terminal voltage vn and non inverting terminal voltage vp will be equal so vp will be equal to vn due to grounding vp equal to 0 so vn will also be equal to 0 now see the current i1 is flowing from this terminal to this inverting terminal so i have to assume this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential so i can calculate the current i1 by using simple ohm's law i1 will be equal to vs higher potential minus lower potential divided by the value of resistor r1 here vn equal to 0 so i will get vs divided by r1 now what will be the value of i2 see i2 is flowing from this terminal to this x terminal so i will take i2 equal to higher potential vn minus vx divided by the value of resistor r2 here vn equal to 0 so i will get minus vx divided by r2 now see if i apply kcl at this inverting terminal i will get this i1 is incoming and this i2 is outgoing uh, so i can write i1 equal to i2 see due to negative feedback the current through the inverting terminal will be zero so there will be no current flow in this direction here i1 is equal to vs by r1 and i2 equal to vx by r2 vs by r1 equal to minus vx by r2 from which i can write vx equal to minus r2 by r1 into vs let's say this is our equation number one okay now look at this terminal x here you will see from this ground terminal i3 will be incoming towards this x terminal so i will get i3 equal to higher potential the ground voltage is 0 minus vx divided by r3 so here you will see this uh, vx will be minus vx by r3 here vx equal to minus r2 into r1 into vs so this minus and this minus will be plus so i will get r1 r3 here and r2 into vs let's say this will be our equation number two after deducing the value of vx i can modify the equation of i2 see here our i2 will be equal to minus 1 by r2 into r2 by r1 minus sign into vs which i can write like this vs divided by r1 let's say this is our equation number 3 
Now look at the terminal X. Here you will see this I2 and this I3 will be incoming at this node and this I4 will be outgoing. So if I apply KCL at terminal X, I can write it like this. I2 plus I3 will be equal to I4. Now see I2 is equal to Vs by R1 and this is our I3. Now if I take R2 by R1 into Vs common from both sides I will get 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This will be equal to I 4 and this will be our equation number let's say 4 now I know the value of I1 I2 I3 and I4 now it will be convenient for us to calculate the output voltage now I will apply KVL in this loop see from this ground terminal to this X terminal to this output I will apply KVL at this node in clockwise direction okay see this Vx has positive at this terminal and negative at this terminal now see this will be that loop here I will measure the output voltage from this terminal to ground terminal if I apply KVL in clockwise direction I will encounter this R3 first its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be minus I3 R3 after that I will see this R4 its positive terminal first negative terminal later so the voltage across this R4 will be minus I4 R4 and see after that I will encounter this output voltage its positive terminal first negative terminal later minus VO equal to 0 now I will put the value of I3 and I will put the value of I4 in this equation I3 is equal to R2 Vs divided by R3 into R1 and I4 equal to R2 Vs divided by R1 in first bracket 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 now if I cancel this R3 with this R3 and see if I multiply these terms R4 R2 Vs divided by R1 into R2 I will get this R2 and this R2 cancelled therefore I will get R4 by R1 Vs after that I will get R4 R2 Vs divided by R1 into R3 if I take the Vs out I will get minus Vs in third bracket R2 by R1 plus R4 by R1 plus R4 into R2 divided by R3 into R1 equal to Vo now see if I take this Vs in the right side I will get VO by VS equal to in third bracket R2 by R1 plus R4 by R1 plus R4 into R2 divided by R3 into R1 and this will be the gain of this operational amplifier circuit that's it thank you